He's been dubbed France's Bernie Sanders. After campaigning as an outsider for weeks, Benoit Hamon is now the unlikely frontrunner in the left-wing primary. By putting me in the lead, you have sent a clear message of hope and renewal, of the desire to write a new page of the history of the left and of France. The 49-year-old beat former Prime Minister Manuel Valls in the first round, clinching over 35 percent of the votes. His hard-left agenda pledges to legalize cannabis, impose a tax on robots, and his flagship proposal, introduce a universal basic income. Opponents have dismissed the idea as unrealistic, but voters have slowly warmed to Amon. I haven't been a supporter for long, only since the primary. I had to choose a candidate and I chose Benoit Hamon because of his political agenda, because of his ideas. Born in Western Brittany, Benoit Hamon began his political life as a student activist in the 1980s. He went on to steadily climb the ranks with stints at the Labour Ministry and the European Parliament. He also served as education minister under François Hollande, but resigned in 2014 in protest at the government's pro-business policies. Amon, who is among the founders of the dissident New Socialist Party, has cast himself as an antidote to Valls's right-leaning image, a rivalry that could end up costing their party the election. Il n'est pas sûr que le Parti Socialiste parvienne à se rassembler autour de sa candidature à partir du moment. I'm not sure the Socialist Party will rally around his candidacy, because when you have a candidate, Manuel Valls, saying another candidate's agenda is completely unrealistic, it's hard to see how he and his followers will support Amon until the end of the election. Valls has labeled the contest as a choice between an assured defeat and possible victory come May. But whoever wins Sunday's runoff faces long odds. Polls show the election will be a three-way battle between conservative François Fillon, far-right leader Marine Le Pen and rising star Emmanuel Macron.